Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, October 16, 2017. Are you watching this? Are you, yes you, watching this market today? It's not just the stock market. Everything right now is being bid higher. Gold, silver, stocks, even the US dollar is, is higher. Um, <laughs> it seems like there is some, honestly, over exuberance uh, kind of insanity factor with regard to this market here and, and it's the Fed that's driving this you know that if you follow this blog look if you follow any of the mainstream financial channels I don't care if it's Bloomberg CNBC Fox Business pick pick one you know over the past several weeks you're getting fund manager after fund manager after fund manager coming out talking about how this market is disconnected from reality I mean they sound a lot like this guy sitting here uh, talking about how valuations are, are not justified but the market seems to continue going higher again right now as I am doing this video blog uh, all three major stock market indices are at new record highs I don't know where they're gonna end the day um, but it's it's kind of an interesting thing. Look, this is my take on when I see this, it really starts to you know, red flags start popping up all over the place. When they're when everyone when everyone is so bullish, you've got to start thinking about you know taking the opposite side of that trade. Now, please do not uh, you know start betting against this market right now you got if, if you're picking stocks for example just for example this market is is, is higher today um, I closed two positions I had I told all of you about it Citigroup huge profit for me on that trade I also closed Goldman Sachs tiny tiny profit on that one but collectively I did phenomenal betting against these two banks this morning, I took up a position against Walmart. Um, at the time I bought it, it was down about 1.3%. It's down about 1.7% right now. Now, I am going to watch this trade like a hawk because the market, again, seems completely disconnected from reality. This can reverse on me. So and I also, as you know, I, I took up my small initial position. I outlined this in my free brief available on my website, traderschoice.net. It's really free. I'm not kidding. You should, if you don't have, I think over a quarter of a million or wait or more than that, I've given away already. So if you don't have your copy, it's free. Even if you're not a trader, you should you should get it just so you can carry on a conversation maybe one day with someone about trading. Uh, go to my website and download that. So look, here's here's my take on this. We have to be very cautious, despite what's going on in this Teflon market. Um, sometimes, when you got a situation like this, the market can turn on a dime, and this week is huge for the stock market. I wrote an article earlier on my Steemit blog about this. Um, it's a, a lot of earnings going to come in this week, and we're going to hear from Goldman Sachs as well which is being bid up right now before earnings I don't know these people are nuts I don't know how they, they want to get involved in that maybe they're taking up straddles I, I have no idea what kind of strategy they're actually using I don't want to get involved in that honestly um, so we're gonna to need to watch this moving forward again this is not just Greg Manorino talking about stock market valuations being in this stratosphere this market has to justify where it is right now and earnings uh, are going to play a part in this and not just earnings okay it's forward guidance it's what these companies are going to talk about uh, moving forward now again we we do have to keep in mind that this market is being distorted further by a runaway central bank the Federal Reserve who is not going to do anything meaningful moving forward people okay let me outline some of that for you I know this is getting kind of wordy but bear with me December I still believe very strongly we're gonna get a rate hike 25 basis points with regard to the federal funds rate it's being priced into the market so 
you can, so, so don't worry about that. If, if we get a hike, I don't. I think the market might actually go higher. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. Now, the balance sheet, the Fed's balance sheet, they're not doing anything with it meaningful in, in any way, shape, or form. So these easy monetary policies have got the back of this market, and the dollar, despite the fact that it's higher today by a fraction, is still weak and it's going lower. How many of you caught Jeffrey Gunlatch the other day? On uh, I think it was Fox Business. This guy knows what he's talking about, in my opinion. A uh, very, very smart man. And uh, he's talking about the U.S. dollar. And I'll tell you the truth, he sounds a lot like me. He sounds a lot like me. I think, you know, look, it doesn't take too many functioning brain cells, honestly, to get a handle on what's going on. So I think uh, I would be willing to bet that all of you out here sound exactly like Jeffrey Gunlack as me. And, and me, too. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to let you go. Let's watch this market. It'll be very interesting with all these earnings come in. Forward guidance, let's look for that. Um, gold and silver higher today, dollar higher today. Everything's being, crude oil, Lord, is being bit up big time. So, but watch this. Like I'm saying, let's watch this very closely. I'm not saying this is going to happen for you trolls out here. But this can turn uh, literally on a dime. When you, I've seen this time and time and time again, and I'm sure you have too. So um, let's watch it and let's freaking capitalize on this, all right? That's what it's all about, over and out.